Hello, my friends. My name is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com, Amner Hunter Studios, and Guitar Matter. Thank you very much for being here and welcome to this new video, this uh, series, weekly series that I'm doing about uh, sharing free tools. This time around, I want to share with you not only one, but three plugins for uh, Windows and Mac for drums. All right. If you don't have a drummer, if you want to continue to make music. These uh, three plugins that I'm going to share with you are going to be very useful. I installed and tried more than three BST drums, but these were the three that I liked the most. I thought these are the most easy to use and authentic and easy to install as well and more uh, natural sounding for rock and metal. So I hope that you enjoyed my friends. So first, I have uh, this uh, plugin from the company Slate Digital called Steven Slate Drums 5. All right, this is a fully functional free license version, never expires. So that's a very good thing. And they are giving you a this kit with some uh, variations. Okay, this rock kit and with three different presets it's fully functional you can mix you can edit you can map and they they give you a very cool cool library i have this uh, session here on my cubase and i have some guitars vocals and bass i already did some basic mixing with volume only uh, here on the mixing board of the plugin all right this is just what i did I didn't apply any EQ on the mixer of Cubase. I didn't apply anything. I just have a limiter and the master output just to prevent the song from clipping. This is how uh, Steven Slade drums sound like in the context of a mix, all right? It's a very cool plugin. You can uh, mix uh, the drums within the plugin itself. Okay, you have uh, several things that you can do here, like uh, dynamics, compression, panning. It's a pretty cool, cool plugin. And to be honest, to have a free license of this is very, very good. And it sounds very authentic, very natural, and very organic. The next plugin I have here is uh, from the company Perfect Drums. This is a more processed sound, but there are some people that enjoy this type of sound in a metal scenario, in a metal track. This is the user interface. It's not loading the kit, in the free version, but I downloaded their free uh, sampler kit. I load them into the preset and I mixed it a little bit with volume as well. All right, I haven't moved anything. You have things that you can do here on the mixer and it's pretty cool, let's check it out. Seventeen. 
push R to Okay, this is perfect drums plugin. It sounds uh, more processed than Steven Slade drums. To me, it's uh, a little less natural than Steven Slade drums, but it's an awesome free plugin as well, all right? And let's uh, move on with the last plugin that I uh, tried and installed here is the MT Power Drum Kit. It's a pretty awesome uh, plugin. It has a mixer and it has cool features such as compressor here on the mixer that you can take advantage of and you can route something that we might do with these plugins is we can route the outputs of the plugin to the mixer of Cubase. All right, I have a video on that to explain how I do that on another drums plugin, but it's uh, pretty much the same on every plugin. All right, we just route the outputs to the mixer of Cubase and we can process individually the tracks all right okay so let's check out mt power drum kit 2. Okay, my friends, and that's MT Power Drum Kit. Out of the three, to be honest, I enjoyed a lot more Steven Slade drums. This was my favorite out of the three, but I think any of these three plugins will be a cool addition to your tracks, all right? If you don't have a drummer, please don't stop making music. You have these options available, all right? You can always humanize these uh, drums by changing the velocity here on your MIDI map. You can change the velocity on fields and things like that so that you can humanize a little bit more the kit so that it sounds more natural and more real. Let me know in the comments uh, which was your favorite and let me know if you are going to use it on your tracks. Don't forget to go to amnerhunter.com and you can find there uh, free PDF guides on how to increase your productivity on your home studio. You will find there as well free presets, free impulse and responses for guitar and other cool uh, utilities, all right, that can be very useful. So thank you very much, my friends, again, for watching the video and see you on the next one, my friends, all right? Yeah.